Hey guys, so I'm back and I am doing a June favorites. Um, it is really hot right now. My hair is up. I'm just in a tank top and shorts and just uh, bad. So, to start off with my June favorites, it's a new camera I got. And it's this camera. It is a Fujifilm Ansax Mini 7S. This plate. It's really nice. Um, I really recommend it. The photos come out kind of credit card like. It's like, it's back. And they're just really small and cute. And just makes it, makes memories, I guess. <laughs> and there's different types of how it comes out, like this little card, little card like. Um, there's many different ones. There's these, which is original, and then there's polka dots, flowers, rainbow. I actually have the rainbows, but I haven't used all the film and this camera yet. I have five more pictures to take. <laughs> um, next is a food type, and it's the Milano, I think. Um, it's just really cute, nice, yummy. I actually ate all of them. It's empty, so I can't show you what they look like. Um. Next is going to be going into hair and makeup and stuff. This is my hairspray. It's the Pantene Pro V 24 hour volume hairspray. And it holds really well. It's maximum hold, so number four. Um, I don't remember how much it was. It was inexpensive, really. Um, I don't know. It's really nice, you know. I am about halfway done with it, which is really nice because I use a lot of hairspray, really. And then, oh, um, foundation. It's Elf Acne Fighting Foundation. Um, I don't really have like acne, really. I don't really break out. I'm sweating. I don't really break out that much, but I like to use this to like keep, like control it. And now is my mascara. <laughs> I had to think of it. Um, it's the Clump Cluster by La Lash Blast CoverGirl. Um, it's really nice, you know. It's does it have small bristles? Um, the little right here is for like your bottom lashes, and then on the top is for like your upper lashes. I'm guessing that's how I was using it. Um, and I'm actually wearing that on the top. And then this is. My eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, it's e.l.f. of course, it's like one dollar liquid eyeliner um, I'm wearing it right now. And it's really nice, you know, kind of small, just applying and then go, you know. And then, this is my eyeliner, the tight line. It's Um, shimmer strips by Nude Eyes, I think. That's what it looks like. I need to like sharpen it or something. I can't even read that. <laughs> um, as many of you know, I am vegetarian, and I have to take. Well, I like to take some vitamins, and. I have Children's Gummy Omega 3 Vitamin Dietary Supplement. Yay! 
um, it's just like, these are like star shaped. I think. I don't know. It's kind of weird how they're all shaped. This one kind of looks like a fish, really. I think there's sugar on it. I don't know. I haven't took my vitamin yet. Mm -hmm. Um, that's really about it. Um, I am reading a new book. It is the John Green Paper Towns. Um, so far, I'm actually not that far into it. But I read The Fall North Stars and Looking for Alaska, and I thought it was really good, so I decided to read more of the John Green books. So, yeah. Um, I'll read the back of it. It starts off with, Who is the real Margo? Quinn Jacobson has spent a long lifetime loving the magnificently adventurous Margo Roth Lejman? Can't say it. From afar, so when she cracks open a window, climbs into his life, dressed like a ninja and summoning him for an ingenuous campaign of revenge, he follows. He follows. After their all nighter ends and a new day breaks, Hugh arrives at school to discover that Margot, always in an in, 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 I can't say it. Enigma? I don't know, has now become a mystery, but Q soon learns that there are clues and they're for him. Urged down a disconnected path, the closer he gets, the less Q sees the girl he thought he knew. So, I thought it was pretty good, and then, as I said, I read Looking for Alaska and Fallen Our Stars, and it was so good, so I'm reading this now. Next is technology, I guess. Um, it is my Acer laptop. It's silver, lightweight. Um, I think it's from maybe five pounds ish. Um, it is a touch screen Aspire 5 V5. And I think it's really nice. I've had many Acer laptops, and I used to have an Apple. Mac book, mini Mac. Hey, sorry, my camera just stopped working. But like I was saying, I used to have um, many Acer laptops, and I had a Mac mini, an Apple MacBook Air, and it's pretty cool. I have Windows 8 on this laptop, and I'm still trying to get used to it a little because it can. I get a little annoyed about it. But, either way, it's nice. And, it, it's, um, battery life is kind of long, so. So, that it. is the end of this video. I hope you guys have a great July, June, June, July, and a happy 4th of July, and a great summer. I'm going to be posting more videos, um to come so watch out for that and I know this video is a little late about four days to be about four days to be exact and I just been really busy between tumbling school I'm, I'm taking summer classes and just uh, the summer so I hope you guys are doing great and I will see you guys um, some other time. I'm going to be coming out with about two more videos, I think. And watch out for this. So, subscribe, like, share. And so, I hope you guys have a great summer and everything else. And goodbye.